That is the nib. 14 karat gold. Now the difference between 14 karat gold and 18 karat gold, gentlemen and ladies, it's the temper. It's the mechanical properties that they add to the pen or the nib when they press it and the other materials they add to the nib. Not whether it's 18 karat gold or whether it's 14 karat gold. It doesn't mean it's going to be better or worse. Okay? It's marketing. If they tell a big enough lie, people will believe it if they keep saying it over and over again. Okay? Now this pen is a 14 karat gold nib that writes absolutely beautiful if you know what you're doing. Please, if you're going to purchase something like this at this level, try it at a Mont Blanc store. Take the demonstrators out. Take your time. Write with each demonstrator an extra fine, fine, medium, medium oblique, broad, broad oblique, double broad, and double broad oblique if they have it. And do it twice. So you can figure out the one that is good for you and what your writing preferences are. Okay? Then wait about 10 minutes and then pick the nib that you'd like. And if you're not satisfied, within six weeks you can change it and exchange it. However, I'd recommend going to a Mont Blanc store. The abomination of Mont Blanc and the problem with this company is that they sell these pens in jewelry stores and that is horrifying because now you're buying a pen from an idiot that knows absolutely nothing about pens. Think about it. It would be like buying a Porsche 911 from a pizza parlor or buying a Porsche 911 from a high-end New York realtor. Oh, they understand high-end and all the expensive goodness, but they can't tell you how to load your springs. They can't explain to you the ceramic brakes and how they work differently from steel brakes. They can't explain to you the weight distribution and how the engine's in the back and how it's going to handle completely differently. They can't do that. At the store, at the Mont Blanc retailer, they'll be able to do that and go over it with you. And if they don't know what they're talking about, leave that store and go to a different one in a different location in a different country if you have to. Because I know there's different variables and different quality controls in different areas. That's my best advice to you everyone. Now, we're going to the writing sample. Look at that nibbage. The Don Awesome Mont Blanc Meisterstück Classic Platinum. 14 karat gold broad. Look at the line variation. That's no pressure and that's some pressure. I told you, it's kind of almost like a stub mid nib. No pressure, pressure. When you start pushing it, the tines open up a little bit and you get a sharper pen. Not scratchy, just sharp, a little bit more thing. My pan gram. How Razorback Jumping Frogs Can Level 6 Peaked Gymnasts. Okay. Beautiful. And then I wanted to do it with no pressure in the lines. Now, one of the problems with Moleskine notebooks is the ruling is almost like a f European ruling between the, the lines. So it's a little thinner than most Americanized paper. However, it's high quality stuff, but not super high in quality like a Rhodia. Because I want to show you what these pens can do on nicer paper than normal, but not the super high end. And the ink I'm using is one of my is my favorite black Mont Blanc mystery black it is a beautiful black black okay it does not have a lot of shading it has a slight carbon tint to it a slight blue tint I don't know if you can see that and it absolutely flows wet and beautiful most really saturated um, black inks sometimes tend to be a little dry this is not the case this ink flows beautiful but it's not like well, a lot of those stupid carbon inks that everybody said calls black, but they're not. They're more like a carbon gray color. And then finally, do not mess with the Foopy. And that's a little picture of my cat. All right. One day you'll see him. But this is my review of the Mont Blanc Meisterstock Classic Platinum with a 14 karat gold broad nib. The customer service was exemplary. I told them my issues. They had no questions asked. They changed the nib. They took care of me. Not only that, but they called me and let me know that it was taking a little bit longer than it should and that the nib had to come from Hamburg. And then they called me right before they shipped it back to my house and let them know everything happened okay, everything's good. 
And then as a courtesy to them, I called the store and I'll let the manager know, thank you for everything. I got the pen. The nib was slightly off, but not bad, and I just had to make a couple little micro adjustments, and now it writes beautiful. This is the pen that everybody loves to hate. Now, high-end pens like this, like I said, are better on the secondary market. They could be new to you. It depends on what level you're at and what you want to spend. But please, if you want to buy a pen like this, as beautiful as this, try it out. This is not something you buy over the internet on an impulse buy. This is a custom thing because they have different nibs for different folks. And I want you to try them and, and get what you like so you're happy. So you can be proud about your Mont Blanc and not hate it. Most of the complaints that happen with these pens, pens I think, are more user error. Probably times being misaligned and not writing as good as they should because people are taking care of them. They're putting them in drawers and they don't understand what they're getting into. If I gave you the keys to a modern Porsche 911 GT3, you won't like it. It's not going to ride like a Cadillac. It's not going to be smooth like a Mercedes. It's going to slam your ass into the seat. It's going to put you in a corner and you might be a little scared. And that's the way these are. You have to know what you're doing. This is a high-end pen for somebody that's a connoisseur of fountain pens. But if you treat it right and you respect it, this pen will be your defender. It'll be your friend. And it'll take you through life if you really take care of it. It's all about respect, every, everyone. Please keep the comments nice. And uh, keep your pens polished and your nibs aligned. Keep your feeds clean and your pen inked up. Cheers.